Dear students, in this lecture, we shall try to apply the exponential functions to a situation where we are trying to observe the growth of population. As you can see that we are assuming a numerical example where there is a European population function and you can see that it is dependent upon time as t is the independent variable and p shows the population in millions whereas the value of t is in years. This is a coefficient which is equivalent to a let us assume and this is the base of the exponential component of the function which we can assume as small a. Now this is this function that we can use by putting various values of t and then get the table in which we have the forecasted values of population based upon t. And you can see in this table that assuming that no time has passed that is we are talking about this moment the population would be 641 units and as we put greater values the population is increasing and that increasing trend will last till we put the last assumed value which is 10 in this case. When we plot this we can see that there is a kind of graph which is showing exponential growth however the exponential trend is not that much intense it is having a less intense exponential growth pattern. Now we can assume different values in order to elaborate the function and get more meaningful information from it. Now we are assuming that 40, year, 40 years have passed and now we are in year 2000 and in year 2000 we can easily guess the value of the population and in this case after putting the value into that function that we saw we will get the population. Now in real world that is during the year 2000 in actual uh, terms they found that the population was not 840, uh, 854 million, rather it was 728 million. So you can see there was a disparity between the actual population and the forecasted population. We can attribute this discrepancy to the uh, uncertainty that prevails in real life. There are many events that affect the population. There, may, there might be population planning or maybe there, there might be some increased death rate or mortality rate or birth rate all these factors actually contribute to the population at the end. So still we can say that our function helped us to have at least a rough idea of the population. Now another way of looking at this exponential function is that we can guess the time required that will allow the population to reach to a certain level. It might become double or we may assume that how much of the time will be required for the population to reach the level for example to 900 million. For that we can simply substitute 900 in place of population and can calculate the value of time. Let us see how we can do that. Here you can see by using the same function and using this assumed value that we, we are aiming as a target, we can put this value in place of population and t is unknown actually we want to find it out. So once we put the values and simplify we will get the answer and that is the time at which the population shall reach the level of 900. Talking about the steps that were conducted in this. We, you can see the next slide in which you will see the detailed steps. These are the steps that are actually followed to get the answer and for that you can pause the video and look at the results in detail and rehearse them.